everyone, this is Cindy with Little Piece of Happiness. And today I want to show you guys how to import your OneNote notebook or your OneNote digital planner into uh, OneNote for Windows 10. Now, this process is going to be the same if you're using like a MacBook or something like that. Um, essentially, we're going to be using the recommended method from Microsoft using their OneNote import tool. On the screen now, is my desktop version or my OneNote for Windows 10 app. And I have already imported this digital planner. This is one of my digital planners that I carry in the shop. And um, if you're interested, I do have a discount code in the description below that you can get 15% off. If you are trying to install or use your digital planner inside of a work or school account, I will also show you how to do that in this video as well. Just stay tuned, but make sure you watch this video from the very beginning. So here is the import save notebook. With your instructions here, I do give you this link already to make it easy for you. If you click the link, it'll take you here. If you um, are not able to access it, then you can just Google or do a web search on OneNote import tool. And usually that will take me to this guidance document from Microsoft. And then um, under the import in OneNote notebook, I actually always click on the OneNote notebook importer. And step number two, you do have to use a modern web browser. And keep in mind, again, this process can only be done on a computer or laptop. Do not try this on your tablet. It's not going to work. I've already tried it. The files that we want to be working with are the zip files here at the very bottom. Notice how the zip files have different acronyms. JDH stands for January, December hybrid, meaning it is a Sunday month and a Monday weekly. JDM is January, December and a Monday, month, and week. JDS is January to December, Sunday, month, and Sunday, week. If you purchase the July to June planners, then instead of JD, this will say JJ. Go to the three dots here, and you're going to left-click your mouse, and you want to download the zip file. Once you click download, it's going to open up your computer download settings, I guess, and you get to choose where you want it downloaded. If you don't get to choose where you want it downloaded, then by default, it will appear inside of your download folder. Here's an example of the PC folder. I am on a PC. If you're on a Mac, this may look a little bit different. But essentially, you want to find your downloads folder. And I've already downloaded this file. So here's the file here. I'm going to right click. Extract all, and we're going to go ahead and extract it right inside. And notice how this one has the zipper and this one does not have the zipper. Now that it is extracted, I'm going to open up file and notice how there's another folder here. And inside of this folder, if I click again, are all of the individual elements of the OneNote notebook. Now that you've seen what is inside of your unzipped file for your OneNote notebook, I want to show you how you're actually going to get it into your OneDrive. So now that I am on the Import Save Notebook web, web link, again, if you click on the OneNote Notebook Importer, it will open up this page here. I'm going to go ahead and select Import. After you select the import button, go ahead and locate your downloads folder. Notice that my unzipped file is right here. Again, I do not want to upload this file. Instead, I want to go in one more folder. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this folder on the inside. If I click one more, it's not going to show anything because I'm, I'm not trying to import the individual elements. I'm actually trying to import the one before it. So again, this is the downloads folder. Click once, and then we're going to click the second one. Notice the name has changed here on the bottom. And then we'll click the upload button. It's asking you if you want to upload the files to the site. If you do not see this, it means that you probably did not drag the right file. So go ahead and click upload. Just give this a few minutes. It shouldn't take any more than like 10 minutes. If it takes longer than that, it could be because of your internet browser or something failed, or you may not have enough space in your OneDrive account 
at that point, I would suggest closing out your import tool and reopening it again and trying the process again. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this load. When your import is complete, you're going to see this purple check mark. And at that point, you can go ahead and view the notebook. I always like to view the notebook just to make sure that it installed correctly. So the browser is just gonna do a couple things. And then right now it's loading up the digital planner or the OneNote notebook using the web-based version of OneNote. Now, what I wanna do is I'm actually going to close this file and I want to open my OneNote. Now I wanna go ahead and add the notebook and it's already been imported into my OneDrive, and now I actually have to put it into my OneNote. You will have to repeat this process for every single device that you want to access the OneNote notebook on. on the left side, click on More Notebook. Okay, so it says today. This is the file that I want. I'm going to go ahead and check that. JDH Vivid, there it is. Open. And now you can see that the notebook is inside of my OneNote. Now keep in mind, if this is the very first time that you are adding the notebook into your OneNote app, whether it be on your tablet, on your phone, or on your PC or computer, if it's the first time that you're opening it or opening any OneNote notebook, it may take a couple minutes for all of the pages and sections to load. But the next time that you open up OneNote, as long as you haven't closed your notebook, the pages will populate a lot faster. Notice how all the pages are still loading right now. And that's because this is my first time opening it on this computer. Now I want to show you what it looks like when it has successfully installed into your OneDrive. If you go to My Files on the left, go to Documents, OneNote notebooks are always created inside of the documents. So notice it says five minutes ago, and there it is. So if I ever want to open this um, on a browser, let's see, I'm somewhere else that doesn't have OneNote installed. If I open this, I can still access it with the web browser. The web-based OneNote is a great option when you don't have access to your desktop app or can't get it on your phone. So this is a quick way to get to your digital planner. All right, so now that we have successfully imported our OneNote Digital Planner into OneNote itself, I wanna show you guys how you can use this inside of your work or school accounts for OneNote because there is no way to directly import your unzipped OneNote file, the folder I was showing you guys earlier. The OneNote import tool does not work for work and school accounts. I don't know why, it's just something that Microsoft decided to do. So if you are working off of a OneNote file, um, like someone tried to export their notebook and share it with you, or um, you purchase a OneNote digital planner for me and you wanna use it on your work or school account, watch this next step, okay? So now that you've imported successfully into your personal account, now we are going to copy it over into a work or school account. I'm going to go ahead and on this left side of the arrow, I am currently um, in, so the LPH demo account is my, is a personal, it's a free personal account. So what I want to do is I'm going to add notebook, click that, and notice how you can choose where you want to add the notebook. I'm going to choose the second one. It says work of school account. Um, let's do work planner. I guess I'll just do a demo 2025. And do that in the work school account, the second one right here. Create the notebook. And notice how the file is created. Now that we've created the work planner demo inside of the work account, we want to go ahead and return back to the 
JDH Vivid Life Compass Planner that we previously imported into the personal account. From here, we'll want to copy all of the sections over into the work account. I'm going to go ahead and right click on each section. Do move copy. And you're going to go ahead and select the work planner demo or whatever name it is that you choose to call your work and school planners. And you're going to click copy. You're going to repeat this process for every single section. If you are on an, a tablet, such as an iPad or a Surface Pro, you will be able to long press and hold on each section so that you can copy them all over at the same time. When you are done copying over all of the sections into the work planner, this is what it looks like. Here's a work planner demo account and notice that all of my sections and pages are here. I'm going to go ahead and open up my OneDrive account for my business. All right, so here I am inside of my work account for Microsoft 65. And here is the Work Planner Demo 2025 that I had created. And this should contain all of the sections and pages that I copied over from the digital planner that I first installed on the personal account. So this is your workaround way in order to use a shared or a OneNote digital planner that you purchased from me or from someone else, you first have to install it using a personal Microsoft and OneDrive account, and then you can copy it over to your work or school account. If you would like to sync your OneNote notebook into multiple devices, you do have to have that OneNote app installed on all devices you'd like to access it. Here I am using an iPad and I went ahead and clicked on more notebooks on the left menu. From here, I went ahead and located the previously installed OneNote planner in documents. Just like in the PC, I went ahead and located it in documents and I added it to the OneNote app. You do have to repeat this process for every single device that you would like to access that same OneNote notebook. This is just the way that OneNote works. Just because you don't see it in your OneNote app when you open a device does not mean that it is not there. It just could mean that you did not add that previously installed notebook to that device yet. And again, you're doing it by clicking on more notebooks on the left side. Notice here how my notebook is installed and now I can access all of my pages. Just like before, because it's the first time that I've added it to this iPad, it's going to take a couple of minutes for all of my sections and pages to load. This is going to happen for every single device that you choose to add more notebooks on that device. I don't want you to be confused by creating a new notebook. Again, I am adding the notebook that already exists.